What do you think would scare a Megalodon? The biggest creatures on a planet that are extinct, that we, as we would say. I feel like a Megalodon would fear something tiny, like uh, the like, tiniest creature, but very, very deadly. Similar to what we did in the shark one, that's what I think would fear it. I would say something like maybe a piranha fish, maybe? Or maybe like a great the great shark because that is the biggest shark maybe a, a megalodon will fear that but today we are going to find that out in this video top 10 deep sea creatures even a megalodon would fear this is going to be an interesting one so yeah let's see how this one turns out the prehistoric oceans were a terrifying place full of gigantic predators but maybe they haven't changed that much after all let's dive into the deep icy waters as we cover the top 10 deep sea creatures even the megalodon would fear starting off in our number 10 spot we have leviathan if you're unfamiliar what, what, what? This is a now extinct genus of macroraptorial sperm whale. It is what? believed that they could weigh around 100,000 pounds and reach up to 57 feet in length, and it's thought that their size is what helped repel other predators while also helping them become the predator themselves. The Leviathan also had enormous teeth. teeth I've never even heard over of these. A foot in length, which is what gave them the title of largest bite of any tetrapod. I didn't even know they were creatures. I'd never even heard of them till literally just right now. You know something new every day, I'm just saying, you know something new. Chronosaurus. This Cretaceous what? marine reptile is one that had an elongated head, a short neck, and a stiff body that was propelled by not just one, but two sets of fins that helped propel it through the water the and hell? through strong currents in order to capture whatever prey it was after. These guys were somewhere around 30 to 40 feet in length, and they had many, many long, sharp, conical teeth, with some of them also being enlarged to be fangs. So... Yeah, I mean, what more could you want in a terrifying sea creature? Along with the fossils found of these guys, experts have been able to determine some of the stuff they ate, and it includes turtles as well as other plyosaurus. Oh, they are vicious. These guys are a part of that genus, meaning they basically ate their family. Bro, what kind of does what kind of sea creature eats their own family? Do these creatures even exist? I've never even heard of any of these creatures. Do they even exist? Like, that's a freaking dinosaur. That's literally a Jurassic Park creature. Like what? Surely these are extinct, right? Surely they are. Literally, I've never heard of the first two. The Colossal Squid. We've got a lot of prehistoric creatures on this list today, but for this one, we are taking okay, a so dive these are into prehistoric. our modern ocean. The Colossal Squid is a creature that is not to be confused with the giant squid, which is similar, but slightly smaller. These guys live in the darkest, so, yeah, coldest these what depths sharks surrounding fear. the waters of Antarctica. This creature lives up to his name as it reaches an average of 46 feet in size and weighs around 500 kilograms, with the females being the largest of the species. They also have a large tentacles equipped with suckers Mad. that have little razor hooks on them to better latch onto its prey, so <laughs> let's hope it's not you. Its diet mainly consists of large fish, such as the seven-foot Patagonian toothfish, and small ones, and some even consume their own kind. But they've also been known to try and consume larger prey, like sperm whales, who often oh, have mad. been seen with scars attributing to the battles they must have faced. Only two specimens have ever been collected, with the second being found recently cool, in 2014. If you ever wondered where the tales of the Kraken came from, you now know. You know what? I feel like those kind of creatures are actually really cool. The way it latches onto the prey, that is kind of a cool way to do it. I feel like a, a lot of creatures would sh like, sh fear those things because once they, they grab onto you, you ain't getting out of that. You are not getting out of that. In our number seven spot today, we have Jacolopterus. Okay, I've got three words for you. Giant sea scorpion. Yeah, this eight scorpion. foot long arthropod lived in the this water with be its deadly, gross, it? two large pincers and claws. And honestly, it looks like something out of the movie Alien. These guys had segmented they're bodies be deadly, and they're actually they? the largest known arthropod to have ever existed here on Earth. They had multiple specialized limbs and some of them even had spikes. Like, for example, their 18 inch spike claw that was used to snatch fish that passed so by. Got poison. And it said that some of these guys would crawl out of the water in order to mate and sometimes shed their outer skin. And all I have to say is imagine finding an eight foot long bolt of one of these creatures on the beach right before jumping in for a swim. I'd swear off all water after that. No thanks. How does a Megaton fear that though? Like, does it have poison in it or something? How does it fear that? Obviously you fear humans, but how would you fear a Megaton with that one? I'm just saying. For six spot today, we have the Helicorprion. Okay, listen. There are 
many, many problems with our modern world. What? We could sit here <laughs> talking about them all day and into next week. There are so many. But here's okay, the thing what? we need to realize. Things could be so much worse. And by worse, I mean this creature could still exist. This animal existed Wait, somewhere <laughs> around 250 million years ago. And while it looks more like a shark than anything else, scientists now know that it was actually a creature that is more closely related to chimeras, which are a fish that separated from the shark family about 400 million me? years ago. So why is this animal so scary that and just weird. terrible to look at? Well, that is due to the incredibly unsettling spiral saw formation of teeth that this creature had right on their lower jaw. Yeah, an orthodontist's dream, truly. It's also not like this creature that was just weird. born with the teeth that they had for the rest of their lives. No, of course not. They had teeth that could grow and new teeth could even form. Imagine being in the ocean and you see a huge creature swim up to you that has four spiral saws for teeth. Why is there suddenly so many prehistoric creatures that I've suddenly never heard of before that like, suddenly comes this one? What, where's this suddenly come from? Where has this video been one of? I'm, I'm intrigued now. I want to know more. I need to know more. I need to know more like discoveries. We've got a lot of history to go through. Saurus. During the Cretaceous period, What's which spanned about 145 and a half to 65 and a half million years ago, Another there dinosaur. was this genus of reptiles called Mosasaurus. These guys were absolutely huge aquatic reptiles that roamed throughout the waterways here on Earth. Because Jurassic of their World. size, they became apex predators during this time and have been estimated yeah, to have grown to be about 56 feet. Jurassic At the World. time of their existence, it isn't exactly likely that they would have encountered any sharks that are alarmingly large like the Megalodon was, but I mean, the Cretaceous period certainly had some other massive creatures that put up some pretty stiff competition. This is, of course, like I mentioned, an entire genus, so there are definitely some less threatening species in the mix, but there are some in there who would have given the Meg a run for their money should they have existed at the same time. In our number four spot today, we okay. have the big fin squid. Okay, the squids that live in our oceans okay. are terrifying. Yeah, There's no other deadly. way to put it. The big fin squid is not often seen, and thank goodness for that, because they are so unbelievably freaky. They can be found They're in tiny, many though. different oceans, but they live in the permanently they got dark long zone fins. of the ocean. They are tiny, but they got some big schlongs, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> 1,219 meters or 4,000 feet deep I in the sea. On November 11, 2007, as an ROV was searching around the deep, dark waters in the Gulf of Mexico, it was able to catch one of these guys on film. Yeah, While there is still so. a ton that remains a yeah, mystery seen, about yes. these elusive creatures, it is believed that this they can grow to be around 23 feet long or over 7 meters. The real creepy stance that these guys have is when they hold their like really long appendages yeah. perpendicular to their body, which creates like a sort of elbow look. In our number three spot today, we have the Plyzeo these guys Another are a prehistoric There's creature so many dinosaur that was ones. massive and grew to be about 43 feet long. They oh, had man. these super long necks that basically took up like half of their body. And even though they were so massive, they had no trouble moving efficiently Damn. through the water. These creatures had four flippers, so our best guess as to how they swam would be sort of like a penguin. Their front limbs did most of the work, while the back ones kind of did like the steering. Fossils have been able to show us that these creatures gave birth to live young and are actually kind of similar to dolphins in the way they take care of their young. It is thought that these just may be the creatures that inspired the tales of the Loch Ness Monster. They look like uh, those sorts that we, those other dinosaurs, the ones that are actually on land with the long necks. I don't know what, what they're called. I don't know. It's look, they look like one of those dinosaurs basically. We have the Basilosaurus. These guys Another have source? a name that translates to it's King Lizard, ones. and they are a genus of large predatory prehistoric whales that lived during the Eocene, which is approximately 41.3 to 33.9 Where are these creatures come from? I've never heard of any of them. These guys were actually first described in 1834, which makes them the first prehistoric whale known to science, which is kind of cool. These guys were one of the largest, oh, if Matt. not the largest of their time, and they were the top predators of their environment. They preyed on sharks, large fish, other marine animals, Bro. Including the dolphin like Dorudon, really they were able to eat basically anything that they felt like eating. Guys even had teeth that were various types, like canines and molars, which probably allowed these creatures to chew their food, which is different to their more modern ancestors. Bro, I've been to museums. None of these creatures ever like came up. It's always been like a Megdon or a the great white shark. None of these creatures has ever popped up in a museum ever. Bro, Bro, there's so much we have missed that we have not seen or heard about. Why is it? So, why am I suddenly getting this now? Where has this video been all my life? This is interesting. Bro, why are we getting so many dinosaurs? Like, I would not fear Megadon now. I would not fear Megadon. Like, if now I want to know if they ever find a trench and find one of these, mate. Mate, it's over. It's over. Mankind is over, mate. Or any, any divers, basically, or any sea creatures. Oh, they're over. They're gone. Well, this this has been so shocking to me so far. It's, it's literally been the most shocking video I've ever seen ever like this 
actually took me away. I did not expect to see this. I know they're prehistoric. I know that means they're extinct. They're not real. Blah, blah, blah. I just never heard any of the creatures. I've heard of the extinct creatures. But none of these this. I've never heard any of them, basically. Practically none of them. So, yeah. Let's hit it with the number one. Let's see what number one has got in store for me. Number one spot today, we have the Pliosaurus. Another massive prehistoric creature. Also not to be confused with the Plesiosaurus. These guys grew to be around 40 feet long and about the size Damn. of some of the whales we would see today. These creatures are best known for their insane hunting abilities. They could move quickly and they were quite strong. This effective predator skill set coupled with their massive size allowed them the ability Damn. to take down much larger prey, sometimes even dinosaurs. According to experts, these guys had exceptionally strong jaws. Some even believe that it might have had a bite just as powerful oh, as the T-Rex, which is of course known for having one of the most powerful bites of any land animal. I'm just saying, these guys were definitely a top predator in their day. Okay, I've definitely seen that in the museum. I remember seeing that in the museum. Okay, never mind. I'll be I don't I didn't remember that, okay, but I saw that museum. I didn't know what it was called though. I forgot what it was called. I remember seeing that, yeah. And yeah, that is basically the loss of this. Oh, okay, okay. I don't even want to know about Megadons anymore. No, I want to know about all these other creatures I've seen today. Bro, there's so many I want to know now. Like, I've been to museums and I don't remember any of these creatures. I remember the last one, definitely, now. But none of the other lists, like, he prehistoric ones, I don't remember. I've never heard of them ever until literally just right now, which is sick. Obviously, I was not expecting any footage whatsoever, but I thought we was going to get some creatures that actually do exist or we just actually heard of like like little plant of fish or like deadly scorpions or whatever that was in the last video like the sharky one but just like bigger maybe even an orca maybe that would be in there but all these prehistoric ones i've never heard of and now like bro it just opened my mind to like thinking what was back in the day before we existed what like back in the dinosaurs what other creatures did we not even know about or heard of i'm just very interested to know i was very very interested man i should watch more documentaries on this stuff but yeah let me know in the comments below what was your favorite prehistoric uh, creature on this list i think mine was the mosasaurus which was in the Jurassic world one i think that was my favorite damn that was very interesting i really enjoyed that video that was my favorite video i've reacted to so far that was really good